Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So, this is a bit of a different one. Um, as you can see, we're in a game called Factorio. Um, this is a game that I got a few months ago and I've been playing it kind of off and on. Um, I currently have 60 hours in the game. Um, I think I can check. If I go load game, yeah. I have uh, Luke save 70, 57 and a half hours in the game. Um, lots of it was AFK, but still uh it's quite a that's, 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 that's a good amount of time um so i thought i'd uh give a tour of my factorial world just for anyone who uh maybe want to, to get some ideas um and also a bit for myself so that i can look back at this video and um look if i want to see how to do a certain thing or how i made a certain thing happen and stuff like that you understand as i go through for someone who's never seen factorial this is probably like really confusing um, this probably looks like really trippy right now, um, but it's okay. And also, uh, at the end of the episode, we're going to be firing the rocket um, from the rocket silo, which is like basically winning the game. So I thought I wanted to record that. Um, so I think I'll go in order of I've, that I what things I built. Um, so first off, we're going to start all the way over here. Sorry, it's nighttime, but um, I think you can still see pretty good. Um, over here is like the first thing I built is my coal mine. It's where I get all the coal from to power my stuff and craft things. Um, here's some oil that's going down to my refinery. Um, here we have all these crazy things you see here is uh, solar panels are all the blue things and all these crazy little things here are accumulators with which are basically just big batteries that hold my power for me um, when the solar panels are off during the night. Um, so yeah, that's that there. <laughs> Um, this coal travels on a conveyor belt over to my steam engines, which, uh, I built early on. I don't, I just use them a little bit now. Don't really need them, but they're still there. Um, here we have my iron mine, or my main iron mine. I actually have another one I'll show you later. Um, but this is my main iron mine. Um, it used to be like twice, maybe three times the size, but it's mined so much iron over, over the hours that, uh, I don't have very much left. Anyway, um, and I set up these furnaces here um, and conveyor belts full of iron. Uh, these are my first like kind of little f iron mine, I guess. Um, and then, as you can see, the iron travels over here. Um, it makes gears and conveyor belts, or transport belts, rather. Um, the transport and gears, transport belts and gears go up into here, which makes uh, fast pr transport belts and it goes down um, and around to over here, which makes electronic circuits. Or no, the iron goes down. Sorry, this might be a bit confusing. Um, the gears and the transport belts go here, and it makes si a red science pack. Um, and some copper comes over here as well from over in this mine over here. Um, yeah. And so let's see what else. The copper also goes into this, which makes copper cable which goes into electronic that I just showed you. Um, the iron also goes into there from over here. Uh, um, and then the electronic circuits go to multiple places. They go here and they make inserters along with the gear wheels and the iron plates go down here and to, to make inserters. Um, it also travels over here to make a fast inserter and over one to make a filter inserter. And then here I have a chest full of them. Um, and then, from where are we going here? Uh, the transport belts go down to make green science packs. Um, and so the inserters go down into the, the green science pack crafter. Um, and then, here we have uh, my labs, which I set up. Um, so the red uh, science vials go down, down into the labs. If I Here, let's research something just to demonstrate. Uh... We'll research, um, I don't know, <laughs> dang, okay, we'll research this, um, so yeah, so the green and red and blue vials, which I'll show you how to make the blue vials later, but, um, the, for now the green and the red ones go into the labs, and they research, currently we're, re we're researching grenade damage, um, yeah, it's kind of a useless thing, anyway, um, let's see, what's the next thing that I built in this world? Um, also, the iron from this goes down to make a bunch of different stuff. Um, down here. Um, this is... Where did it kind of start? I guess with the refinery it kind of started. 
All right, so we'll start at the refinery. So the oil that you saw, and there's some other places that there's oil, goes into this refinery, um, which makes uh, uh, different kinds of oils and petroleum, light oil, heavy oil, and petroleum. Those get put into tanks uh, instantly. And uh, let's start with the heavy oil. Currently, the heavy oil is being put into uh, here to make solid fuel. Or no, that's the light oil. It makes solid fuel. And the heavy oil is making solid fuel for my rocket. Um, that's what that's for. Um, but I don't actually need any more. But whatever. It's fine. Um, over here, we, we have some lubricant <laughs> for engines and stuff. And uh, express transport belts, which are like the fastest transport belts. Um, we also have like some random crafters making engines and stuff when I need them. Um, here's the light oil tanks, which are going to make petroleum, uh, yeah, as well as going up to make the solid fuel. Um, here we have, oop, that's finished, the, that research that we just did. Um, so these are pipes here, if you didn't know what these gray things were. Um, <laughs> this looks really crazy now that I'm looking at it um, from like a perspective that I'm explaining things. Um, anyway, the petroleum's going down to make plastic with some coal. And the plastic is going to make low density structures, which is for the rocket. Um, what else here? The petroleum also is going to this chemical plant to make sulfur. And then the sulfur goes in here to make sulfuric acid. Um, and then we have this set up here. The sulfuric acid is used for batteries, as well as these processing units, the blue ones. Um, yeah. And then what else here? Um, these blue and red chests, I guess I'll explain that. The blue chests are uh, request items that are in the purple chests, which provide items. Yeah. Um, and everything gets tr transported by robots. I have a whole setup here connected like that. Um, yeah. And um, what's next? I guess um, over here. Go way over here. It's just a simple uh, rock collecting, stone collecting thing stone collecting thing it goes into a furnace and makes stone brick um, the stone brick gets crafted into stone walls as well as concrete um, I could line the whole place with concrete this is concrete here this little path um, but it looks kind of ugly and I like the grass better than the concrete so it just makes you run faster basically um, so next up we have this thing this whole big contraption here that I set up which is to make multiple things it makes these red advanced circuits um, as well as the blue vials because the blue vials need the advanced circuits um, so up here at the very top this used to be different uh, but I ran out of copper here um, there's just this little bit left so I had to get some copper as well as some electronic circuits coming from a separate place we'll see that later um, but from here copper gets put into copper cable um, the electronic circuits get put down um, into the advanced circuits. I have two going actually, so that's why it looks kind of confusing. But I have the advanced circuits, or electronic circuits, the green ones, going down and into this one, as well as around into this one. Um, and then plastic is coming from where we saw the plastic coming from earlier, just, just put over here. Um, and then the copper cable gets put in between the middle. Um, the red advanced circuits get put down um, over here we have the blue vials being made which um, these requester chests request items so it's requesting the steel plates um, that'll show how I'm making those in a second as well as batteries and those filter inserters from earlier um, what else here it's also oh yeah filter inserters and then the red are also going to make these speed modules um, which are needed to make rocket control units which is for my rocket lots of this stuff has kind of been changed because I've been making my rocket um, but now that it's made I could just take it apart I don't really need it um, yeah so that's the red slash blue vial making or the red circuit and blue vial making I should say um, next up let's see where we have okay this is the steel kind of little unit um, I have some mining drills mining iron for me and it's putting it into the first furnace, which turns it into plates, and the plates get turned into steel. Um, and then I have like a whole chest full. Um, I just keep that running just because. 
Um, I feel like I'm missing something over here. I think that's it over in this area. Over in this area, as you can see, we have my train going back and forth. Um, I'll show you that in a second, but the train is exporting. Actually, no, let's go Let's go to where these items are coming from first. Um, so I have this path and this little train track set up um, around here. This is my train. Um, so the items are being loaded on these. This is copper and item, iron being loaded on onto my train. Um, they're coming from transport belts from these furnaces. Um, the ore is being uh, collected from these drills. And I made this here because there's like copper and iron right beside each other. So I thought it would be good to make a little outpost here um, to collect copper and iron. So it mines it goes into the furnaces. So furnaces output the plates into the train. And if we wait a little bit here, uh, you saw the train earlier, but it goes down um, and around. We'll probably see in a second back around to this area over here. I put some caution uh, concrete over here, um, but it gets output to these conveyor belts. Oh yeah, here we go. We'll see it in action. So it stops and gets outputted with all the copper. Ooh, a bit leggy. And uh, iron gets outputted into these chests. I have it all filtered. This is like probably a horrible system, but I have these splitters which put it into two instead of one, and it goes down into these chests um, just for storage, kind of. Um, so that's where the most of my copper is getting from, from the requested items. It's coming from these providers. Um, so the copper gets put down, and so, uh, same with the iron, gets put down into... Uh, well, first, okay, well, the copper gets put down into these first assembling machines, which make the copper cable. Um, and then the copper cable gets put down into these other crafting machines, which get iron put in them, um, that gets brought down, and then it makes these green circuits, which we need a bunch of. So I have like a uh, chest full of them. Well, not full, but as full as I uh, made them to be. So I have about, I think, 10,000, <laughs> which is quite a bit actually. Um, but yeah, that's like basically my world here. Um, I'll look at the map really quick. This is like my, this is what all that I showed you, this tiny little area compared to this huge map. Um, like, it's a big, big area that you could make uh, and collect stuff. Um, this orange is the copper, the black is the coal, and this bluish kind of gray is the iron. And all this red is the alien camps that you destroy over time. They, they can raid your stuff and break your stuff and st stuff like that. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Um... Yeah, so now that I explained all that, I think we will launch the rocket. I made a satellite, um, which was pretty expensive. I need a bunch of solar panels and accumulators. Um, that stuff up there, I needed a hundred of each of those. Uh, a bunch of those blue processing units, rocket fuel, um, and lo those low density structures and some radars. And here we go. We have a satellite. Okay, this is the big moment. All right, we got the satellite in. I don't really know what it does, but it says you should put one in. So, okay, we're gonna press launch. Okay, ready? We're gonna do it like NASA style. Okay, ready? 10, 9, 8. Okay, that's, that's too slow. Okay, ready? 3, 2, 1, launch. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Oh, look at that. You can see it. It's boosting up. It's powering up. Oh, this is amazing. Look at this. It's away. Look how big it is. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Away. Wow, I did it. Game finished. Victory. All right, here we have all my stats. Time played. 57 hours and 47 minutes and 13 seconds. Oh my god. All my kills of these uh, guys I got. Sol solar panels? I don't know what that is. Anyway, I'll uh, continue here quick. But yeah, we finished the game. That's... Oh, look at this. Your score is satellites launched. I did not know that. Okay, well, that's interesting. Um, but anyway, it'll, uh, I guess it'll start making a new rocket now that I uh, launched that old one. Um, anyway, but yeah, I didn't know that was a thing. Anyway, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of different. Um, I don't think I'll be doing like a series on it or anything. Just wanted to make this little video to show my world. Kind of keep it... Um, forever on the internet sort of thing um, just in case this world gets deleted or something or I switch computers anyway something like that um, but yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video um, if this was confusing um, I totally understand why the first time I saw this I was like 
what is going on? I had no clue. Um, but you slowly learn over time, and you kind of learn stuff, and this is what I made. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe, and follow me on all the good stuffs. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.